Alrighty, guys. Thanks for joining me. This is your host, I, D, Jester. D, Day, Dice. D, Day, Dice. So, um, I had a request from one of my subscribers, good friend of the channel. He, was have, he had uh, just picked up D-Day Dice and was a little lost in how to play, didn't understand how to get the game set up and all that. So, I kind of felt bad because I really told him to pick this up because I think it's a great game, great system, and really fun to play. So, I thought I would go ahead and do like an overview, setting up the game, how to play, maybe a little gameplay example for you guys, just to uh, anybody out there that doesn't know about this game or interested in trying to find out more about it it's uh basically <clears throat> it's like playing yahtzee on steroids uh as you can see uh you got a bunch of stuff here but i should mention that this is uh all the stuff that you can buy for d-day dice with all the expansions and everything so we're gonna go over some of the extra stuff but uh, for this one here, I'm going to show you how to set up just the basic scenario in the basic rule book. Uh, and then, you know, we can go from there if we want to delve into uh, some more information for you guys uh, in the next episode. So, again, this is probably going to, if you want just to see the gameplay, I would skip at least halfway through the video. Or it's going to take us a while to go through the setup. And how to, you know, how to play and all that stuff. So, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to go through a lot of the extra stuff. So, obviously with D-Day Dice, you're going to get your uh, rule book. You're going to get your scenario book. There is a, several expansions for this game out there. You have the Legends expansion. You have the Atlantic Wall s s expansion. You have the Highway to Hell expansion. The Atlantic Wall rule book. You have the War Stories rule book. And you got the Way to Hell rule book. So lots of extra stuff that you can pick up if you are enjoying this game. And uh, hopefully you'll uh, get a good chance to learn how to play it. We're going to come back to this in a minute. We're just going to set that aside. So again, I got a bunch of stuff here, but you're not going to get all that in just the core box. So your box isn't going to be as loaded. It's not going to be as complicated as this. But I wanted to show you, if you got everything, what uh, what you would be looking at. And uh, hopefully, um, so here's what we're going to get in our base game. You're going to get some battle boards, some dice. Uh, you're going to get some resource cards, some specialists, some player mats, and then a bunch of extra cards. So it kind of shows you what, this is what comes in the base game. And so that way you have a comparison here. So let's go ahead and game start here. So each player is going to select a country. In the base game, you either get the United States, the UK, Canada, or France. And you're going to take the matching specialist decks, the unit marker, and the resource card. So what does all that mean? So these are, you're going to choose between one of the four countries, the United States, France, Canada, and Great Britain. The rest of these, again, would come with expansion packs and all that. So we can kind of just ignore these for now. But you can see there's quite a bit more when you start getting into a lot of the other expansions. you got a lot more replayability, a lot of different variety as well. So we're going to just put these aside for right this second. And we'll come back to these in a little bit. All right, so in this scenario, what we're going to do is we're going to play as the U.S. Now, I should mention that it does matter uh, because each of the different countries have different special abilities. I'm going to call these special abilities. It's basically, um, again, if you guys are familiar with Yahtzee, you're rolling some dice. You're trying to get combinations of those dice. And then you keep some, and then you roll some more, and you try to get better combinations. And you can roll it up to three times. And then whatever you roll at the end is what you end up getting. So it's kind of a combination of that, uh, kind of on steroids. So uh, you can see that uh, each of the different countries have different special abilities. So when you get different um, 
uh, different results from the dice rolls. You're going to get different abilities. So each country is different. Some are just slight variants. So again, we're going to grab the United States one. We're going to grab our little token. Each one has their own special flag. You can see some of the other ones here. Great Britain, Canada, France. And all the different markers you get through with all the different expenses. So we're going to get this. And then we're going to actually grab our United States cards. You can see it, they all have the flag on them there. Uh, so in mine, I'm actually going to have an extra card that again comes in one of the expansions so you won't have that, but you're going to get all the reserve, reserve cards and all the regular cards. And these are going to be people that you can find along the way to add to your group to make things, um, to make, uh, to get special powers. Each one of these gives you special powers. So, um, we're going to get these and we're just going to set these aside. All right. So that is the uh, first part here. We're going to choose a battle map that open the scenario book and get the information from the specialist items. Uh, you will need, you'll need this list shortly. First time player we recommend starting with the battle map number one exercise target. So we're going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Again, once you get all the expansions and stuff, you can see there is a ton of all kinds of different boards. There's even an expansion that will, you'll actually take your ship through the different zones before you actually land onto the beach. So that's super cool. So in this case, we're going to look at, uh, again, tons and tons, and you can see they are two-sided. So if you don't see your map board, you want to... Make sure you turn it over to the other side. So now we're going to get our map board out. Put the other ones away. And we're just going to set this aside for now. So this is going to be our map board. This is going to show us our starting location. Which is going to be down here. And it's going to have each of the different map boards is going to have different sectors in it broken up into different sectors so this is going to be our starting sector it usually has this little symbol on it and then it will tell you um, in this case what you're going to be starting with we're going to be starting with four guys and then you can see this line here so that represents when we have to move from this sector we can either move up into this sector here or this sector here depending on which way we want to go and you can see things will be different on the back side. And different icons represent different things on there. All right. So um, let's go ahead and place that down somewhere where we can get to. Where you guys can hopefully see. All right. So I'm just going to... Uh, so you can see the other nationalities. Here's the Canadian cards and then some of the other. Here's the British cards. Here's the French cards and the German cards. All right. So um, again, you, you won't get the naval specialist that will just come in the one expansion pack. But the rest of the cards you're going to find reserve specialists and you want to have these in a different pile than you do for your regular specialists all right and we'll get to the reason why in a little bit and then our little dial there and we got our little cheat sheet put that right up there mm. maybe i can bring it a little bit closer So you guys can see it. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. So now we're going to be setting up a solo or one player game. 
So there's some special rules for this. But if you're setting up a two-player game or a three-player game or a four-player game, you're just going to follow these directions. So for a one-player game, we're going to add all the regular items that don't have the our, uh, ammo symbol on them. Plus one card of your choice, either one special item from the battle map list or one regular item from, that has a ammo symbol on it. So what does that what does that mean? So you have regular items here. So you're going to get a deck of regular items. And you're going to get a deck of special items. But the special items uh, you can only purchase from, let's look at our scenario. So here's the D-Day scenario book. Shows you the starting sector and what all the different symbols mean, landmines. All right. And what they represent and craters and, you know, all the different symbols that you'll see on your little map board and what they do and what they mean. We'll get to some of those when we start playing. And then we're going to find our scenario. And we're actually going to play the advanced training scenario. And what it's saying is uh, these are the special items that you might be able to find. And they are amphetamines, bazookas, flak vests, and lucky charm. So you take all of your regular items that you can find. And then, because we're playing a solo player game... We can find Lucky Charm, Flak Vest, Bazooka, and Amphetamines. And the rest of these special items we won't need. All right. So these are your special items. And you can choose one of these or as we pull out items... So since I'm playing a solo game, we don't we don't use the ones that have the little ammo on the side because these are mostly for helping another player during their turn or trading items or you know sharing some of your resources with them. So obviously, if you're playing solo play, you're not gonna you're not gonna have anybody else to play with. So you take these out of the deck. But you could choose if you wanted to to add one of these in or one of these special items that you get only from the scenario. So normally these end up being better than these items because they're not going to be as helpful as these. So let's take a look at these. So these go out of the game. And uh, the special items you can find are, well, before we look at them, actually, let's look at the actual dice because that will help deter show you what what we have. So, the, obviously it's just a six-sided dice. Just like a regular six-sided dice. It has six sides on it. There are six different sides to this dice. Unlike some of the other games that use six-sided dice, sometimes there's multiple symbols on multiple sides. In this case, there's one symbol on each side. So, there's six different symbols. So, let's go over the different symbols. So... I'm going to get my rule book out because I want to get the terminology down right. Because if I don't get the terminology down right, I will not... There we go. I will not feel good if I don't get my terminology down right. All right, so first thing is a skull. Uh, do I have no sound? don't know if it's just me, but I put... But uh, I have no sound. Oh, there it is. That's better. Okay, so I was going to say, it looks like I've got sound going. So, so first side has got a skull. That is kind of um, skulls. So, all right, so let's look at what we have here. So you're going to get two white dice. You're going to get two red dice. And you're going to get two blue dice. So you're going to be rolling six dice. And then, like I said, it's kind of like Yahtzee, where you shake them up and you roll them. 
And then you decide, oh, I'm going to keep this. You have to keep at least two. So I'm going to keep these two. And then I'm going to re-roll. Do I want to re-roll these four? Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and re-roll these four. And then we got this here. And what we're looking for is one more roll. All right. Come on, let's get a good roll here. All right. So that was our final tally. And what we ended up rolling. So we can't do anything. But you might have special people that can change some of the die rolls. You might have special events. You might have something on the board that alters this. But this is our core roll. Skulls, what skulls do is they will make you have to lose a die. So the, the skull basically kills another die, which are bad, right? So this skull would kill this one, and this would call, kill this one. So all those four don't count. So the only thing I actually rolled are these two dies. So skulls are bad. Okay? So that's how skulls work. The next thing is the star. So you got the star. Um, so this is like your, uh, to rally some of your special units that you can find out there. You notice that on our regular specialists, we can spend these stars to recruit these guys so we can use their special abilities. So the corporal here has two stars on it. So if we had two stars, we can turn in those two stars to re-roll one die in your final tally. So in this case, if this is our final tally again, right, and we had the corporal, then he would allow us to go, oh, well, I don't want this. I don't want this skull. Let's re-roll that skull. So, we, you know, they help you break the rules of the game. And each one does has, like, different special ability that it'll do things with. So this guy is also two stars. If you have at least one active skull in your final tally, you gain two guys. So in this case, a skull in my final tally would gain me two guys. So it's not as detrimental as normal. Uh, and there's all kinds of different ones that have special abilities and this, that, and the other thing. So the stars will help you recruit your special people, either your... Regular specialist or your reserve specialist. Okay? So that's what the stars do. Next thing is going to be your soldiers. So there's a soldier symbol on one side of the die. And then there's also a dual soldier on one side of the die. And they are different in how they do things. So for each soldier you have, so if this is my, if this is my final tally... Let's say that was my final tally. I get two, four, six, seven soldiers, and I'd add these guys to our squad. So we'd end up with seven extra guys in our squad, which is really good. So that's what the soldiers do. Whether they're one sign in or with one figure or where they have two figures on them, they're going to add to your total. Uh, and then we have the medal. So the medal is your courage so your courage you're going to spend to do special things and to recruit your special uh, here they are awards so you can see the symbols on them match look at that ah so these awards are like bravery awards and things like that so you can spend these Gaining these cards. And guess what these cards do? Same thing. They have like special powers on them. That allow you to do special cool things. And break the rules of the game. So you earn these medals. By spending your courage. The other thing you spend courage for. Is each time you move into a new sector. And you go closer towards the enemy. You have to spend courage to move up so to go from our location here into the first area we're going to cross this line here so we have to spend one courage 
And then when we cross this line, we got to spend two curries. And we cross this line, we got to spend two curries. And then to cross this line, we got to spend three curries. So you're going to spend you're going to spend your courage on recruiting some awards for your units in your squad and then also to move up into the more dangerous areas. The last side is your tools. That's a, it looks like a little wrench. Your tools are going to use to get these special regular items or the special items that you add to this deck. So we can recruit things like binoculars or grenades or flamethrowers or field radio or Bangalore torpedoes, mine detectors, whistle, walkie-talkies. So each one of these costs a certain amount of tools. And again, so this is kind of a wrench and that's kind of a bolt. So the wrench goes on the bolt. So it costs me 10 wrenches. This one cost me 10, and this one cost me 20, and this one cost me 12, 20, 7, 7, and 5. So that's what you spend the tools on. All right, but the kind of the special cool thing about D-Day Dice, when the, you know, where it kind of breaks away from, say, the Yahtzee variation where you just roll the dice, keep two, roll the dice, keep two, and or whatever, and then... Roll, and then you final final tally everything up is what they call the red the um, RBW so the RBW is red blue and white all of the same thing so if I was to roll an RBW of stars if we look at our cheat scene over here RBW bonus of stars we would get leadership we roll a, one bonus dice and add it to your final tally in your choice of color. You may reroll skulls. It may not be traded. Or we can gain two courage. So if I was to roll a RBW in stars, that's what my United States bonus is going to be. If I roll an RBW in with the double squads like that all right so that's going to give me uh fresh troops i'm going to gain five soldiers so because i rolled this i gained five soldiers plus i gained one two three four five six so in essence i'm really gaining 11 soldiers by rolling this bonus as the united states again each country has their own special RBW bonus bonuses. You can also uh, roll just like in Yahtzee, where you roll a a straight. So that's one of everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of everything is a straight, just like in Yahtzee. And in this case, if you draw uh, roll a straight, you draw any one award of your choice. So instead of normally these are shuffled up and face down, and you when you spend your courage on them, you just draw the top one and you get whatever it is. If you draw a straight, then you get to go through the deck and figure out which one you want, and then take that one and say, "Ah, this is the one I want." Boom, just like that. So rolling a straight is super powerful because you get your ward of your choice, which is uh, really neat. All right. Um, so that's the RBW. So when you're re-rolling and when you're keeping your when you're keeping your uh, dice, what you're hoping for, right? What you're hoping to get is you're hoping to get. Um, well, I think, did I just roll a straight? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I just rolled a straight. <laughs> so I would I would stay. You don't have to re-roll. So on my first, I would just stay. Stay with that. And I get all the, I get everything. And when you roll a straight, you ignore the skull. 
you don't you don't do uh, the skull doesn't cancel because it's part of the straight. So uh, what you're hoping to do is either roll a straight or you're hoping to actually roll three of a kind in your RBW. So like this is a really good roll because you got an RBW in courage and you got an RBW in skulls. And again, the only time skulls hurt you is if they're just one of them or two of them or three of them, unless they're in um, a group like this. Once they're in a group like this, they don't hurt you at all. So in, in essence, this here is going to give me Dead Man's Gift, gain 17 item points and two stars. These skulls don't cancel any dice. So what you're trying to do when you're rolling the dice is you're trying to get those RBW bonuses because they're going to help you get your resources up really well. So let's see what we do here. So, so we got a uh, two of a kind there and we got two of a kind here, right? So unfortunately, these two aren't going to help us. So what we're hoping to do is roll a white with two soldiers and we're hoping to roll, I'm sorry, we're hoping to roll a white with a star and a red with two soldiers. So we'll keep these. Come on, come on, baby. Be good to us now. So we didn't get anything to help us. So we're gonna roll one last time. Come on, come on, baby. And we still didn't get anything to help us. In fact, we got a skull which hurts us. So we could take the skull to cancel this. And so that we're gonna end up getting four soldiers and two courage. And that's what this is here. This is going to keep track of all of your special resources. So you got guys, you have your stars, your courage, and your tools. So we start with zero, zero, and zero. Oops, wrong way. Uh, but because we're starting on this map, we get four guys. The other thing you need is your little dice. We're playing in the United States, so we get the dice. So what this dice is, the you can only stay in a sector so long before it becomes too dangerous. So you can stay in the sector, and then you ro rotate it over to the two chevrons. And then you can do another turn there, and then you rotate it into the three chevrons. And then the next time, you have to move out at the end after your turn is over you have to move up if you can't move up then you're dead and then there's uh some sectors that will automatically make you move up and some or uh, this is the one where you can't stay in it and this one i think means you have to move up so normally you're going to start in this uh with this little one chevron and then two, and then you can move up if you wanted to, or you can stay there, three, and then, oh, shoot, we got to move up. Now we have to move up, and then you're going to reset it back to number one. And then you're going to be in that sector doing the same thing, moving it. And like I said, anytime you want, you can move up. You don't, But once you get to this point, you have to move up. There's no choice. You have to go. Or you, uh, you don't have to move up. You have to move to a new sector. So you can go from here into this sector and then from this sector into this sector. But once you're done in this sector, you can't go back. You've already gone here and you've already gone here. So you're going to have to move up into one of these two sectors there. So uh, we're going to start with four guys. Oops, four guys. So basically our platoon right now is just four guys that landed on the beach. And what we're trying to do Right. What's the object of the game, Jester? Well, let's tell you what the object of the game is. The object of the game is is kind of a resource management where you're keeping track of your guys and your stars and your courage and your tools and gaining new cards that are going to help you along the way. And you're going to try to make it through all the different sectors until you finally make it to the final bunker. And then you have to destroy the bunker 
and then live through the end of the round. And if you have guys at the end, then you have succeeded. Now, sounds pretty simple, right? But it's not. Because everything on this board is working, most everything on this board is kind of working against you in that every time you stay in a sector, whatever numbers in this sector is how many guys get killed. So you can see as you move in, right, there's going to be 10 guys getting killed every time you stay in this sector. And then when you move in here, it's 10 guys getting killed. And then when 20 guys, when you get killed here. So you need to get, you know, minimum 20, 30, 40, 43, 47, 49. So you need minimum 50 guys to reach the bunker. That's not even counting attacks when you go into this sector or anytime you cross these uh, landmines. So if, I, if you go from here to here, across these landmines, or, or or from here to here, and you cross these landmines, then you're going to take damage from that. You're going to take damage from, let's see, that's a sniper attack. Here's another landmine up here. Here you can't spend any tools. So each one of these things, the whole board obviously is working against you. So it sounds like, oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Well, <laughs> it's not. You can get in, right? But then once you start getting up in the here, you can't stay here, right? So if you were to stay here one turn, two turns, three turns, it's going to cost you 30 guys just to sit there. And then it's going to cost you more guys as you cross here. And then it's going to cost you 10 more guys every time you get up there. So you kind of got to get your resources and then make a run for it when you think you got enough stuff. And of course, you need courage to move up. And then to move in the bunker, you need courage. So, so that's kind of the premise of the game is it's, it's kind of gathering your resources and then gathering your special items and your special awards and your specialists and your regular specialists. And I'm going to slide this over a little bit because... Um, Let's see, how am I going to do this? Put this over there, that's fine. And I'm going to put these over here as well. All right, so because of the scenario we're playing, right? And because we're playing solo, we can choose one of these guys. Amphetamines, Bazooka, Flak Jest, and Lucky Charm. What's that? That's not my plus laser. Look how hot it is. Uric acid. Oh. You should see the guy. Well, just take my medicine. You'll be fine. Uh, so, that's... Uh, so, again, uh, we're, we're playing... Oops. What did I do with my rule book? Here it is. Ah! All right, so uh, here we go. Um, what was I going to show you guys? Oh, yeah. So if you're playing with one player, two player, three player, four players, you're going to choose these. And according to this, we can choose one special item from the battle, lap, battle map list or one regular item that has an ammo symbol. So, uh, again, these items are going to be... Amphetamines, we can gain a battle cry RBW. So if we choose this card, a battle cry RBW for us is going to gain us two stars. Or if you move this turn, ignore all requirements of the new sector. And if advancing, don't spend courage to enter. Landmines still apply. Combat occurs normally once you have moved. So I can get that one for the amphetamines. I can get the bazooka. What does the bazooka do? The bazooka subtracts seven from the defense of the sector of, of your bunker. So 
It would subtract 7 from here or from here. Cost 15 to get this. Flak vest cost 7. Your, all you, bleh, your units ignore all MFG results. So anything with the little targeting symbol, we can ignore that. And then special damage 6 is also ignored. So that's what the flak vests do. Lucky Charm gives us either a star or a courage. And we're back to amphetamines. And then, of course, we can choose. Where are the regular items? Here they are. Okay. Mm, here's the one with the... Um, uh, ambo symbol on them so we can get the soldier pass lose one unit to rally a specialist for free wow that's not too bad so you lose a guy but you gain a specialist so instead of spending the four five three four five stars whatever um we can get we lose a guy but we can get him for free that's not too bad Strategic map, change the color of one die in your final tally but not its result so we can change a white to a red. <coughs> yeah. We got the tool kit, which adds two tools to our final tally. These tools don't have any color. We get a field, a field telephone, which will give us seven guys. And we get a metal case, which draw one random, uh, one award at random. So we can take any one of these and add them to our regular stack of regular items. And that would be the one extra item we might be able to find. Hmm, this is expensive, it costs 15. So, and then that was 15 as well. So these are kind of expensive. Hmm. Um, where is, oh, here they are. I am going to take the bazooka because taking seven off of their, you know, you know, if we decide to spend a few turns here instead of 10, it would only be wipe out three guys a turn. So we're going to take the bazooka. All right. And the last thing you're going to get out is your vehicles. You're going to have uh, six vehicle cards. But you're in this scenario, unless we get a special award, we won't see these. We won't use these. Sometimes you'll find in different sectors, there'll be a vehicle that you might find. Um... <clears throat> Uh, but in this scenario, since it's kind of just your generic kind of training scenario, it's not super hard. Uh, so instead of having a vehicle, we can find one if we get an award. But more than likely, we're not going to find any vehicles. All right. Now, last thing we need to really talk about is you can see here that these uh, symbols, you see that these are color coded with black and if we look at the back side they're black the reason for that is these are reserve specialists and these are just your regular specialists all right your reserve specialists you can only have one of them ever at the at a time so you can get one and then later on get rid of them and get another one but you can only have one of these at a time your regular specialists, you can have as many of these guys as you want. Now, the last thing I should mention, since I am playing so low, is there is uh, ranking specialists that are just generic ones. And then, of course, you have your ranking specialists, which are just for your country so if you're playing with multiple people you can recruit from your deck 
and you can recruit from the generic deck, but your opponents can only recruit from their deck and this random deck. So since we're playing solo, we can kind of just combine these together because uh, we don't have anybody else. Like if I was playing with my friend, he might buy this one and then I couldn't buy it. But since there's no one else playing with me, I can just kind of stack them together. Uh, and because I am playing solo, you will see there is a special lieutenant here that has a special solo card. There is a lieutenant that just, uh, where's the lieutenant actually? I thought I uh, had him out. What happened to him? Oops. Make sure I, oh, here it is. So there's a lieutenant with solo and a lieutenant without solo. So if you're playing with two or two or more people, you're going to use this card. If you're playing solo, obviously you're going to use this card. So it's one or the other. So we're playing with solo. And if you're playing with solo, you're just going to take this one out of the deck. And then you're going to have this special little mat for solo play. Kind of, kind of help the solo player a little bit. Because it's a little bit harder because you don't have people helping you and trading things to you. So playing solo is a little bit harder. So um, again, that's what, that's how the solo is set up. So again, you would normally have, uh, if you were playing with multiple people, you would have your stack in front of you, and then you would have all of the generic ones kind of in the middle of the table that anyone can buy. But for, just for ease of use, I'm just going to stack them up together. And then, of course, we have our ranking specialists. Again, these would be out in the middle of the table. Anyone could buy them. But uh, obviously, because we're the only ones, we're just going to stack them with our ranking specialists. Again, we can only have one of any of these guys out in play. So you can't have one of us and one of these. You can only have one of these guys in play at a time. All right. Now, before we get started and we are ready, almost ready, I am going to just, just in case, I'm going to keep the, uh, where are the vehicles? These are the vehicles. I'm going to keep the vehicles just in case we get an award. I'm just going to put them on the bottom of the award deck because the only way we're going to get them, is, there's one special award that you can get and it'll say, find a vehicle of your choice or something like that. So we'll keep this just in case. But a lot of this other stuff, I'm going to now move into the box. So we have our items that we can find and our one special item. That we're going to add to that. So these are all the items that we can find by spending our tools. We'll keep these over there. So what I want to show you now is just um, some of the other stuff that you're going to encounter if you buy some of the expansions. Again, if you're just joining us, there is a ton of extra stuff here. There is the Legends expansion, the Way to Hell expansion, the War Diaries expansion, the Atlantic Wall expansion, and of course a lot of them come with their own scenario book. And uh, so that's that. You can see there is uh, a lot of other, oops, there's a lot of other factions to play with. You have Canada, France, Great Britain, Germany. You, you know, there's just a lot of different, buy more expansions are going to give you a lot more things, right? So that's that stuff. Then, of course, you're going to find in some of the other expansions more regular items, more special items that you can use. You're going to find more of your ranking specialists, which are these guys that you can recruit here. And unique specialists. Um, oh, by the way, if you're playing solo, this is important as well. If you're playing solo, there are these in the back of the rule book. It tells you to take these four cards out. So for the awards, 
Uh, you take out the Victoria Cross. You don't. You can't get this one as solo. And then the mortar, the carrier pigeon, and the dispatch, dispatch case. You take those three out as well if you're playing solo because. These are, again, about trading or giving other people resources, and there's nobody else to give resources to, so you don't need these. So you're going to take these four cards out, three regular items and an award. So take these out. All right, so you can see uh, more regular items, more special items, more rank specialists, more unique specialists. But let's talk about some of the other fun things that are added. You can see over here we got a ton of more dice. Because a lot, there's a lot more factions that come into the game that have their own special dice. All right. And again, I, I'm not an expert on all the expansions and which ones come with these things. So I can't tell you right off the top of my head. But there's one of the expansions that have these servicemen. So if you get the red, white, blue... With tools, it's a special find. And instead of spending those, you can draw one of these cards to get a special serviceman. And they, again, give you special special things that you can get. So this one will here will give you a white, you know, they'll give you dice that you can use sometime later in the game. So this one will give us a white medal and a white star. And this one here will give us a blue skull and a blue metal. So these are really cool to kind of help you get these red, white, and blue things. And you can see there's a ton of them. So I'm just going to put these away because we're not going to use these in, in our expansion. Uh, one of the expansions actually allows you to play competitively against... So one person is trying to complete this and get to the final objective and blow it up. And the other person is playing as the Germans and they're trying to do play cards and special events and bring out their own specialists and stuff to stop them from doing that. So it's kind of fun if you have two players and you don't want to play cooperatively, you can play uh, competitively against one another. So we're going to put those cards away. Um... Again, some of the expansions come out with some new factions. I'm not, I don't recall which country faction this is. It's like a pink one. Uh, let's see. And of course, one of the expansions gives you the naval specialist for each of your different factions so that you can help you weave your way through the mines and the water to get to the beach. So that's kind of cool. We'll put those aside. There is going to be more awards for you to find and, you know, things to break the rules for the game. There is going to be a ton more vehicles for you to find. All right. There is going to be... A special mission deck. So there's a whole bunch of different special missions that you can go on. And if you can complete them and do th certain things, you can get bonuses. If you have this unit and this unit, you're going to get a field radio. And if you can find this guy, then you can get these. So if you start getting, you know, if you roll five or more guys... Any five red results. Um, yeah, I, I guess any four blue. So you can have these special special things that you can try to accomplish. that will give you bonuses, your special missions. There is now, instead of just having reserve specialists and regular specialists, you can now find unique war heroes. And they're going to have uh, unique war heroes and regular war heroes. So again, kind of your same um, special black ones and then the regular guys. And they're going to have really fancy, super cool powers that you can use. 
Some of them, you know, sacrifice to permanently sinus silence all machine guns in your sector. So you can sacrifice this guy and you don't have to worry about the machine gun shooting at you. You know, all kinds of cool things. So unique war heroes, regular war heroes. Again, they're going to have different amount of stars for you to recruit. So this guy here, uh, Tommy Prince, is going to add two blue wrenches to your final tally. Uh, this guy here is the Minesweeper. Ignore a landmine. And when you move over them, gain... 1d6 of tools. So instead of whenever you cross the minefields, instead of them damaging you, you can ignore them and you're going to gain more tools with this guy. So all kinds of super cool uh, new cards to play with, with that'll change the rules. Uh, we also have, what do we have here? We have, uh, oh, this is the German item. When the German, when the Ger uh, when you play with the competitively, where one guy runs the Germans as you're trying to move up. He's got his own set of items that he can use against you. All right. What else do we... We also have... Not sure why these were in a separate stack. <clears throat> legendary specialists. So we have legendary specialists. So we have not only regular recruits and reserve specialists. Now we got legendary specialists. And they give you double the result of one red die in your final tally. If you don't reroll your red dice during a phase, gain a courage. You can lose two men to gain a courage. When you obtain a red, white, and blue bonus, you can always trade it for the battle cry bonus. So all kinds of just special cool things with the legendary specialist. And of course, when you have legendary specialists, you have to have legendary items as well. Look at how many items there are here. Look at our little stack of items, right? So this is our regular stack of items we have like 10 got 10 of them let's see one two three four five six seven eight we have nine nine items right now look how many items one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifteen sixteen seven eighteen nineteen twenty one to two to three to four to five to six to seven to eight to nine thirty to one to two to three to four to five to six to seven for eight, for nine, forty, for one, for two, for three, for four, for five, for six, for seven, for eight, for nine, fifty, for one, for two, for six, for seven, for eight, for nine, sixty, six, one, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, 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 seven, six, eight, six, nine, seventy. So seventy more items that you can find, and of course, you know, as you're playing through a game, you might find two, maybe three, maybe four items. So imagine the replayability with all these legendary items sitting there, right? So we have things like duffel bag, transform all your courage in your final tally into tools. Uh, green flare, add three guys or add one skull of your color to your of any color to your final tally. All units ignore landmines this turn. Transform all courage in your final tally into stars. You know, there's just pff, all kinds of super cool things that you can find, right? Put this away. So we have the awards. We also have badges now. So you can spend your courage on badges which will give you special combat medic. You only need two different colors in your final. You only need two different color skulls in your final tally to get to gain the dead man's gift. Uh, you only need two different colored medals in your final tally to gain a battle cry. You know, all kinds of super cool things. The badges. We also have field promotions. Field promotions. All units gain reinforcements. 
Kane, the red, white, and blue single soldier. If you're playing solo, gain the double men bonus. Find one vehicle at random for free. Add 10 guys. Rally one available, unavailable, or lost specialist for free. All kinds of super cool things. That's your field promotions. Whoa, and I just dropped them on the ground. Are you kidding me? Hang on. Ugh. Sorry about that. Let me fix this up real quick. I was trying to be all neat and organized and put them away properly, and then they missed the box. I don't know how that happened. All right, we have all these. These are all extras. All right. Then, here's one of the super coolest things that you can get in the expansions these are uh so these uh come out of the war story i know what this one came out of this came out of the war story right so you get these cards for the war story and they give me like a special objective that you try to complete you can't, not only do you have to make it in the bunker, but you also have to complete your story. And there's a, you know, just a little bit of text, like some flavor text. And then it tells you, you got to complete these things. Here's minefields. You can't win the scenario unless you remove all the minefields. Dying friends. You have to spend uh, your courage to keep, uh, you have to spend courage every turn to keep your dying friends from dying. You know, so there's all these special story modes, because it's called War Stories, right, uh, that you play with. So not only do you have to get, you know, fight your way all the way there, but you also have to complete your special objective. Then we have, we're not done yet, Final Conditions. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of battle conditions. So every turn, you draw one of these and it tells you it affects the map board with things. So this turn, items and specialists with the little symbol, with the little fire symbol, can't be found or rallied by players. So like, for example, our little bazooka guy. Where's our bazooka guy? I think he's going to have, yes, he's got that little symbol on it. We couldn't get it. We couldn't rally him if this event was in play. Or engineers to the rescue. This turn specialist with the fire symbol costs one less to rally. And items cost three less to find. So engineers to the rescue. Some of, the, some of these are good. Some are bad. Fire in the hole. During phase five, units spend one less uh, courage to advance for each card with the fire symbol they have. So all kinds of different special effects that are going to change the map board every single turn for everyone out there. So super cool things there. That's always fun to have random events happening. Uh, Then there is a special last man standing RBW table, which I'm not sure what it does, but I think everybody plays with the same, the same um, special abilities, and it is basically like deathmatch. You go until you're the last one alive. So that's cool if you want to play... You don't want to play against a German player, but you want to play competitively as you're working your way. You're not playing cooperatively. You're trying to cause your, your opponent to lose resources and stuff like that. So that's cool. Uh, another one of the coolest, coolest additions, I think, 
uh, and this changes the game, is instead of just having countries to play for now, you can now play with the different divisions. So they have division cards that basically replace the country power. So you can see this card just fits right in there. So I can play as the United States, but instead of playing as just the, you know, the United States, I can play as the Big Red One Division, 1st Infantry Division. Or I can play as the 29th Infantry Division, or the 6th Airborne Division, or the Black Watch, or the 101st Airborne, the Royal Engineers, the Royal Winnipeg Rifles, the Green Howards, the 1st Battalion de Fusiers, Manas Commandos, the Number 4 Commando, the 75th Ranger Regiment. So there's all kinds of different divisions you can now, which will replace your special abilities with their special abilities. So I can just put that right over there. And now I, instead of playing with these special abilities, I'm playing with these special abilities. So again, replayability, just a ton and ton of replayability with all of these new cards, new um, special abilities. So that is, uh, and of course, I kind of showed this in the beginning, but I'll review it one more time for you guys here. The game comes with a nice assortment of 12 battle boards, but if you buy more expansions, you're going to get a lot more, and you can see how busy these boards are, and how, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six areas this is only one, two, three, four, five areas. But then they also, you can see, link up. So you can go from the beach through the first bunker into the second bunker. So there's all kinds of new map boards with new territories, different effects, different special abilities on them. Uh, there is even some map boards here that actually have the ocean. So again, before you even make it to the beach, you're going to have to fight your way. Uh, and this is for five to six players. But if we find the other board here, here's say one to two players. You're going to put that down and then you're going to have to move through the different zones just to get to the beach. And then make it all the way through the beach and bomb uh, bomb the final bunker. So that's cool. I think this is in the, uh, which expansion is this one? Um, way to Hell, because you got all the, so that's in the Way to Hell. So, uh, you know, in each, each of the different expansions, add a bunch of the different map boards with new train pieces, new layouts and of course double-sided and the water and they come with different scenarios this is scenario 20 this is uh, scenario number 25 so just all kinds of here's number 30 and this is the Merville battery and of course, you know, they are kind of scenario based. Uh, this is Mission Chicago. Uh, and if you're playing a one player, you're going to start here. If you're playing two to three players, you're going to start here. Four or five here or six there. Or no, I bet you that's a random die roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. So depending on your die roll, you're going to start in different locations. So just... Tons and tons of cool map boards. All kinds of different things. Different uh, effects. Different terrain. You get it? You get it? Right? I think you get it. So, and of course, what I do is I just keep all my map boards in this. One expansion box in there nice and neat and uh, all right so let's actually uh, let's show you how we're gonna play how the gameplay goes I'm not sure we'll 
go to the final buzzer depending on how fast we go it just depends so we're going to get our map board united states i'm just going to keep it right there so you can kind of see when i point at things it'll be easier for you to see maybe i can slide it over a little bit so here's our guys we can recruit here's our awards there's our items we start at nothing but four guys as we land on the beach we start with our little one chevron right there phases of the turn go roll the dice then an upkeep phase if you roll a straight choose an award apply all skull effects and cancel the dice and then collect your rbw bonuses and then record all resources on your resource card adjust your unit marker so that would what that means is move it to the one to two two to three whatever uh then rally a specialist find an item and draw an award you can rally one specialist to find one item and draw one award then you can move you can stay up to three turns in a sector move forward spend courage to advance or move laterally into an adjacent sector when moving into a sector you must fulfill all the requirements if any and reset your unit marker back to one you cannot visit the same sector twice. If you cross landmines, roll a D6, see how, many, see how many soldiers you lose. Combat, lose the number of soldiers equal to the defense of your sector, plus machine gun fire if applicable. Here is some of your map control symbols, your item point symbols, your RBW bonus, your straight bonus, and we are ready to go. Ready it. get. We're going to get. There is a lot of extra little counters and pieces for different things uh there's a the little ship tokens for when you're moving your little ships around all kinds of cool things there's lots of other dice for other the other factions uh, if you're playing solo though if you're playing solo I would recommend that you get out an extra set of dice, two blue, two red, two white, because you're probably going to use them. You'll notice there's yellow dice in here from one of the other factions. All right, I could probably put the rest of these away. Ah, don't you go anywhere. So that was uh, quite an explanation, but hopefully it was helpful. Let's just say that. Put all these away so they're out of the way and they're not distracting. Because they're distracting me. And just to give you guys an idea, we got a few cards here we're going to be putting away. But everything for all the expansions and all the base game and everything will fit in the one box. And then all your extra expand, uh, map boards will fit in this box. So it won't take up a lot of space at the end. Okay, here we go. So we start with nothing. We got nothing but four dudes arrived on the mains. Four guys. There is a special rule, right? If you don't, in the first roll, if you don't roll any dice that have um, units on it, if you don't roll any dice that have units, so either the single or the double, so if you were to roll this, right, you can choose to re-roll it, and it doesn't count as... Uh, as a uh, against you. You can just say, okay, I don't have any guys. I'm going to re-roll. So you can only do that one time during the game. And it has to be with no guys. So keep that in mind. It, it happens because, see, we're starting with four guys, right? So we're rolling four guys. So, and every turn we're going to lose two guys. So in essence, if we don't roll any guys... In the first two turns, we're dead. There's nothing we can do about it. So that kind of midi mitigates that. If you get a really bad dice rolling the first two turns, you could be dead if you don't get any guys. 
So obviously, we need guys. We need everything. We need courage to move up. We need uh, stars to recruit guys. We need tools to find some cool equipment. Let's see what we get. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe I should... Didn't think that was going to be a thing, but maybe it is. Oh, that's not a great roll at all. Oh, brother. We got no combos working towards our RBW at all. We got a blue... We got a single guy. We got a double guy. Actually, we got a single, a double, a star, a tool, and a courage. We need a skull. We need a skull, and we would right off the bat get our straight, which gives us one reward of our choice. So we're going to take it. We're going to try. We got two chances at rolling a skull. That's one. Nope. Come on, give us a skull. Give us a skull. No. All right, so that's it. But it's not as bad as you think because we don't have a skull. It's actually kind of a good thing. <laughs> All right, so now, uh, so that is roll the dice. Upkeep. We didn't roll straight. We don't have an RBW. We're going to collect our bonuses. So we get two courage. Oops, we started at zero. I don't know. So, two courage. So, we're up to two. That's those two. We got one stinking tool. So, tools are a little bit different. Tools have this little chart. When you have one of them, you gain one. When you have two of them, you gain three. When you gain three of them, you gain six. When you gain four of them, you get 12. Five of them is worth 24. And six of them is worth 48. So... So we got a whopping one tool, which is nothing. So that's that. We got a star, which is that. And we got three guys. So we go from four up to seven. That's it. Now we can rally a specialist, find an item, draw an award. So again, if we had enough stars... Or enough tools, or enough to buy a award. And I'm trying to remember how many you need to buy an award. I might have to look that up because it's not coming back to me just off the top of my head. Let's see what it says. Buy an award. Let's see here. <laughs> Six courage, yeah. Okay, you gotta spend six courage to uh, get an award. Oh, we should let's take these vehicles out and we should shuffle this up just to make sure everything is nice and random. The other cards we can go through the decks to purchase from. These we can't. This is uh, unless we get the uh, straight. That's why the straight's so good because then we can can go through the deck. All right. All right, so uh, we're not going to buy anything because we just don't have enough resources. Move. Uh, we are going to move to number two. Combat. We lose two guys, so we're back down to five. And that is it. That is turn one is done. They go by really quick. Let's see if we can get a better roll now. Days. All right. Here's what I'll do. I'll see if I can put this over here, kind of at a good angle for you. Hopefully, is that'll work for you guys. All right. What do we get? What do we get? Okay, 
Well, we're work. We have to keep at least two. Can't just go. Oh, we're done. And this, of course, we didn't roll any guys, but we rolled guys, so we don't have to work right. This is almost a red, white, and blue combo. So we'll keep those two. We could, if we wanted to, keep these two. The problem is we need a white dice to finish this one up, so we're wasting our one die. So I don't like doing that, so I'm just going to take these four. And let's re-roll and let's see what we get. Let's just see what we get. Uh, we didn't get anything. Oh, look at this. We got a red, white, and blue combo right there. So we'll just keep that. Now let's hope with this one we can roll a double on this one. That would be a lot of guys for us. That'd be a lot of guys. Come on! No. Damn. All right. That's okay. All right. So. Record your resources. So, this is our first red, white, and blue combo. So, let's see what it says. So, we got the reinforcements. Red, white, blue, single, guys. Add four soldiers to your units. And four soldiers to another unit of your choice. So, when you, anything that says another unit of your choice is you. So, we get to add four. And four. So, that's eight soldiers for having this combo. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 guys. So 16, we're at 5, that is 21. We're up to 21 guys just like that. We got really lucky. Normally you don't get that many guys in one go. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of courage or anything else yet. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. now draw. We, yeah, we have two courage, we have one star, and we have one duel. So, we need to get some more stars, we need to get some more tools. We got some guys, and some more courage would be nice. So, combat we lose two guys, boom, boom, just like that. Easy come, easy go. We're down to 19, 19 guys. Rotate this over third time. So this will be the last time we can stay in the zone. Next time we're going to have to leave. So let's get some red, white, blue combos. All right, again, we have to keep two. Have to keep two. So I'm looking at this two. Because they work together. We got two reds that we can re-roll. So, yep. We're hoping for some stars. That's some stars right there. That is some stars. So, we got a red, white, blue combo. We got some extra stars and only one duel. Hmm. We will keep it right there. We're just going to stop right there. All right. So we got a red, white, and blue stars, which is leadership. Oh, right. We get to add a die. So hang on a second. Before we do anything, roll one bonus die and add it to your final tally. You may choose the color. So what we're hope we're gonna choose, that's why I wanted you to get some extra dice out. We're gonna choose blue because if we blow if we blow, if we blue if we roll a blue star, we would actually have another one of these. So let's hope. And we can re-roll skulls. So again, leadership. Roll bonus die and add it to your final tally of your choice of color. You may re-roll skulls. May not be traded, or all other units gain two courage. Well, that would be other people. We don't have anybody else, so obviously we're not going to choose that option. I'm going to try and... There we go. That should be pretty good for you. Come here, you. All right. All right, let's roll this blue one. We can add it to our final tally. 
It is not a skull. So, all right. All right. So, well, actually, I could have used this other bonus. All other units gain two courage, which means we would have gained two courage. So we could have added the die or we could have just gained two courage, I guess. So probably maybe, yeah, it was worth trying. It was worth risking. So that was our red, white, and blue bonus. But now we have three, four, five stars. We had one. So we're up to six stars. All right. And... We got two tools. Two tools is worth three points, though. So we are up to four tools. All right. So that's good. Uh, do -do -do -do, collect our bonuses. We go to... Uh, is it immediately we have to move? Let me just double check that. Or if it's... Nope. Uh, when you have the little red symbol, meaning you must move to a new sector in the next phase. Or, uh, oh, the next phase five. Uh, maybe it is. Uh, hang on a second. Is it? Is it? Is it? We are in... Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We are going to have to move. Yeah. Okay. I just want to see, I remember reading it said you cannot spend, uh, yeah, maximum of three turns, right? So that was our third turn. All right, so that's, that's so it's going to make us move when we get to that phase. Before we get to that phase, we can rally a specialist, find items, and draw an award. Well, we got six stars now. Six stars. So that's buying guys. And I really, really like, so like the medic, we can lose one this guy per phase. Uh, we can get, add one tool to your final tally. So uh, reroll one die in your final tally. But to be honest, this early in the game, I think we got to go for the lieutenant, the lieutenant, because yes, there isn't even a special box just for him. So when rallied, you're going to roll six RBW dice and place them on this card. Then each phase, I can swap one of those with your final tally from one of these on the card. So what the lieutenant, so we're going to buy him for four stars. It's going to drop us down to, so we have six, back down to two. So what we do with him is we take six dice, two red, two blue, and two white. We roll them in whatever faces, and we put those on his card. And then when we get done with our final tally, we can take one and exchange it with one of the ones on his card. So it, it will help us get our red, white, and blues a lot better. It's a lot easier. And then that die goes away. So we can basically do it six times during the mission. All right, we're just hoping for a really good roll, I guess. All right, so we have a star and a skull for white. We have a tool and a soldier for blue. And the red is a skull and a this. Okay. All right, so that is our rally. We don't have enough tools to buy anything. We don't have enough courage to get an award. So we have to move. So we can either move into this sector or we can move into this sector. Now, if we move into this sector, you can see, um, maybe you can't see, but... I bring this up, moving in this sector, 
There's a special box there. We're moving into this sector where there's a special box. So what this box says is free specialist, sharpshooter here. A unit moving here rallies the sharpshooter for free. So if we move into there, we get the sharpshooter. This box, uh, for, uh, no, I'm sorry, this is the scout. A unit moving here rallies the scout for free. Blah, 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 blah. And then this is the sharpshooter. So let's look at the sharpshooter or scout. So a scout will let us add one tool to our final tally. And the sharpshooter, I can ignore one skull in our final tally. Uh, let's go with, we're going to go with the scout. So we are moving up. From here, into this box, so we reset back to one. And it costs us one courage to move up there. So we have two, so we're down to one. Oops, sorry, to mean to hit the microphone there, guys. Uh, and then it tells us we have a special, this is why this is such a kind of a, Nod tough scenario. It kind of, depending on how things go, it can go a little easier for you. Because every turn we're here, we're going to gain one medal. And every turn we're over here, we're going to gain one star. So we get to gain this scout for free. So he's going to add a tool to our final tally. One duel. And this tool has no color. But if we have like three tools, it might make it four tools. So four tools as opposed to three tools is a big deal. So put that over here as our friendly reminder. Not that it will help me, but I'll try and remember. So it costs us one courage to move up. We cross this line here, right here. So we reset our thing back to one. And then we lose the number of soldiers equal to the defense. So now we're in four. So 19 minus 4, we're back down to 15 already. You thought we had a lot, right? No, we're down to 15 already. But now we found a scout. And we got all these lieutenant over here that's going to help us get our RGBs, our R RWBs. Red, white, and blue combos. All right, first time in the zone. Come on, baby. All right, what do we have? Now, remember, we can also think about, well, what do we need? So we have a blue and a white. Do we have a red man? We do not have a red man. Hmm. Let's see. Well, we're almost at the point again where we can go for a straight... We have a star, a skull, uh, we need, what do we need? We need the, we have two guys, we need the tool, we need a tool, but we don't have, we only have a blue tool over here, that's okay. We can exchange a guy for a tool, and that would give us a straight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right? One, two. Uh, you know what? We might as well try and roll for it before we do anything. Let's do it. All right, so that was our original roll. That's not a tool. We need a tool. There's a tool. Look at, we got it naturally. We don't need to need the lieutenant. So we got our straight. So that means we get to draw one award of our choice. All right, so. Uh.
We can gain 14 dudes. We can gain three courage and three stars. And no, six stars. All units may rally one regulus or ranking specialist for free. Hmm. Hmm. Let's look at the most expensive ones. There's a, like the fours. So we got the captain. We can gain one medal for every RBW I gain. So every time you get a combo, we get a, a medal for free. Sacrifice to permanently silence a machine gun in your sector. So we got the grenader. And then the engineer subtract five from the defense of your bunker. So that guy is better towards the end. We don't need him quite yet. Hmm. Let's see what specialist here we can get. Trying to get all the most expensive ones because they're going to have the most powerful abilities. You must move when your unit marker shows two. Ooh, what the hell is this? Eager officer. I think this is the from the German deck. I think the he can force that into your hand. So I don't think. Uh, so we can lose one less guy per phase. So every time we go, we lose a guy. Every time we have to sacrifice a guy in each sector or whatever. If a machine gun shoots us, we lose one less guy. Change the color of one die in your final tally. So we can automatically change the color of a die. We can have the kernel, which instead of locking two, guy, two dice, we only have to lock one dice every time our first roll. Ooh, the combat photographer. This is kind of neat. You can sacrifice him, and whenever your final tally is, you can keep those dice for your next turn, and that will be your final tally and the next die roll. Ooh. Sharpshooter, we could ignore a guy. We gain a guy every time we obtain an RBW. Sacrifice to prevent the loss of up to six guys. Ignore landmines. Uh, I think. I think we're going to take this guy, to be honest. If we take that. Yeah, you know what? Let's take that metal. What metal was that? Here it is. All units may. No, no, that's not the one. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. All units may rally one regular or rank specialist for free. And this does not count against our total amount. So we're going to gain this award for our, uh, our straight. And then we're going to immediately spend it to gain the minesweeper. So the minesweeper says we can ignore landmines. So when we move from here to here, we're crossing these mines. But because we got the minesweeper... We can ignore them. That was super good. All right, so let's shuffle these back up because these are, unless you get the uh, straight, they are random. All right. Now we get our final tally here. Again, the skull doesn't cancel anything. So we get a tool. Uh, but we get a second tool, so we get two tools. Two tools is equal to three points, so we're up to seven now. Seven tools, so that's the tool. We have one, two, three guys, so up to 18. We got a star, so we're back up to three stars. We have a um, metal. So we're up to two. Courage, whatever it's called. And then the skull doesn't do anything for us. All right. So 18 guys, three stars, two medals, and seven tools. 
Uh, when we get this RBW and we use the metal, it doesn't count towards our limit of one per turn. So we could actually, if we wanted to, spend our three stars to get the combat photographer, which means we could keep this for next turn and do the same thing for next turn. I think that's a good option. We're going to do that. So we're going to spend our three stars. Uh, so we're back to zero in stars. But we're going to keep this straight for next turn. So sacrifice after your final tally. Uh, maybe, hmm, maybe we can't do with this one. Maybe we have to wait till later. Yeah, because I guess this is phase four. So we can keep this guy for later, though. So let's do it. All right. Uh, so that's that. We rallied, guys. Now we move. So we're on to number two. Combat. We lose four guys. So we're down to 18. Minus four is 14 guys. So you have 14 guys, no stars, two courage, seven tools. All right, and now that we have the combat photographer, if we roll another straight, or if we get like double RBW bonuses, we would be set up real good. All right, let's see what we get here. Oh my gosh, we got an RBW right off the bat. No, we got two RBWs right off the bat. That's what I'm talking about. Just like that, baby. Just like that. Ugh. And I, we just got the combat photographer, too. This is going to be sick because we're going to get this twice in a row. And we don't even need to reroll. We don't need to do the lieutenant. We don't need nothing. All right, we're just going to keep that. So... Get our RBW bonuses. So the three courage gives us, we can gain two stars. Or if we move this turn, we can ignore the requirements of the new sector. Like if we move in and there's some requirement that you have to have, uh, like this one means you have to kill the sharpshooter if you move into this area. So we can ignore that. Uh, okay. We can gain two stars, or if you move this turn, we're not going to move this turn. Uh, we don't have to spend courage if we move up. So we're going to gain two stars for the battle cry. Brah! Plus three. So we gain five stars. Five stars for up to five. Five stars. And then our... Um, the, that's battle... Actually, hang on. That's, that's the battle cry. The stars are leadership. We can roll an extra die. Uh, see, I put all the dice away. Uh, you know what? Or else, what's... Uh, or we can gain two courage. You know what? We're just going to gain two courage. Because rolling an extra die isn't going to help us at all. So we're going to gain two courage for th the leadership bonus. So our courage goes from two to four. Those are just our bonuses for having the combos. Then we gain three stars. So we have eight. Up to eight. And then we gain three courage over there, so we're up to seven. This is going to be sick. We're going to have so much guys and courage, it's going to be unbelievable because we're going to spend the combat photographer, sacrifice after your final tally. This will be your final tally next turn. Okay. So we're going to get rid of that. Wow, that's going to be sick. Okay. Um... So that was our upkeep, 
adjust unit marker. So we're going to go up to turn three. And now we can rally. We're definitely going to rally. We've got plenty of stars. Uh, you know what? We're going to gain the chaplain. Oh, wait a minute. We can only have one of these guys. Getting three guys every time you advance. Mm. Uh. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to get the veteran. So veteran costs three. So we're from eight down to five. And we are going to spend six courage. So we have seven. So we're back down to one courage. And we get to draw an award. Somebody in our platoon just got the Legionnaire de Dion, Dion, de Horin. Legionnaire de Horin. Any one unit finds one item of his choice for free. So he basically got an item for free. Bazooka, which costs 15, but we don't need that till we get up there. Flamethrower, subtract 10 from the defense of your bunker. Gain five guys. We can reduce the defense of your sector, but not the bunker to zero. So if we get up here in these 10 areas, we can silence them. And it is a 20-pointer. We're going we're gonna to get that because it's free. It's free. Unbelievable. Uh, let's just make sure. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Now, so that was our spending our resources. We could spend our seven. We no, bought an item. No, we did not buy an item. We find an item for free. We did not buy one. Items can even be you used or unavailable. Oh, you can refine item. That would have been awesome. Ha uh -huh. Um. So we've got over here. The Scout, the Minesweeper, the Veteran, and the Bangalore Torpedoes. Now we go to the move, and we have to move. But we move from here to there, and we reset back to one, and we cross these mines. But we got the Minesweeper. Ignore landmines. So we don't have to worry about it. Now we can spend a few turns. Oh, we move over here. We gain the sharpshooter for free. So I may ignore one skull in our final tally. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? Because our scout, we should have added one tool to our final tally. I should have remembered that. Uh, maybe I did, actually. Okay, so we actually have... Four guys over here and one item now. Uh, plus the lieutenant, which we haven't used yet. And we're sitting pretty on resources. So, are you ready for this? Our next turn is this again. Insane. So, these here give us a battle cry, which gives us two stars. So, we're up to seven. These stars give us leadership, which gives us plus two courage, so we're up to three courage. Then we gain three courage, so we're up to six. And then we gain three stars, so we're up to one, two, three, ten stars. 
We're going to be able to get so many people. It's unbelievable. Um, oh, we should have taken lots of four guys. So we're down to 10 guys. We're going to run out of guys. We're going to run out of guys. I should have maybe got the medic. So, we, mm. Oh, we're going to get him right now. <laughs> we're going to get him right now. All right, so that is our die rolls. Uh, upkeep, get our rewards, blah, blah, blah. Move this to turn two. Uh, we are going to purchase the medic, which means every time we lose a guy now, we're going to lose one less. Oh, we did get one tool from our scout. So that's up to eight. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Plus we gain a guy every time we get an RBW combination. So we got two. So we gave him two guys. Twelve guys. All right. Um, so, yeah, we're getting the medic, which costs four. And we had ten, so we're down to six. We're going to be able to buy guys left and right here. All right. So, move combat. So, instead of four, we lose, only lose three guys. So, 12 minus three is nine. All right, nine guys left. All right. And now we actually have to roll the dice. Gosh darn it. That was an awesome roll. So we need guys and tools right now. Or it's kind of our weak point is guys and tools. Hmm. All right, you see what I'm thinking? You see what I'm thinking here? We got a, a blue and a white skull. And we have a red skull over here. So we can get the dead man's gift. If we exchange the red with something else we can only do it one time so what we want to try to do is get lots of tools this time I think so these two are going to be tools uh, oh and guys I did say we needed guys didn't I hmm well let's see if we can roll one of the two that we need we'll keep those four Let's see if we need, if we can get one of the two that we need. Uh, no, that's neither one of those is what we needed. So last roll. Come on, baby. Uh, oh, we got it. Perfect. Got what we needed there. And then we have our extra. So our lieutenant allows us to swap out a die. We're going to swap this die for this one. And then this this one will just go away at the end of the turn, so I'll just get rid of it now. But look, we got another double combo whammy whammy. That's awesome. So we have three, we have the Dead Man's Gifts, which gives us 17 item points and two stars. 17 item points, and we had eight is 25. And two stars. So we're up to eight stars. Good Lord, we're not going to be able to buy guys fast enough. So that's our bonus for this. Our bonus for special find. You can find a used item by paying its cost. Mm, or gain four soldiers. We will gain four soldiers. So we're up to 13 because we don't have any... So we'll gain four soldiers. So that's the bonuses. Now we gain the skulls don't do anything for us, but these tools do. We have one tool from our scout. One, two, three, four tools, which is 12 item points. So we are up to 37, just like that. 37 item points. Now uh, we gain a guy every time we have a red, white, blue combination because of the veteran. So we're going to gain two more guys. 
to 15. Is there any other combo that I need to know about? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's it. I'm not missing anything. All right, now, just over to three. Now we can buy guys. Yep, buy more guys. We got so many. We got eight stars, six courage, 37 tools. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, we might get the Grenader because we're going to eventually come up against these machine guns. Oh, we could buy the decoy and then the Grenader. Yeah, because then we can get rid of the decoy instead of the green. So we're going to spend two stars to buy the decoy. So the decoy, we have to sacrifice, like some of these cards like the Grenader say, sacrifice to permanently, we can get rid of this card instead of this card. So we're going to buy the decoy first. He only costs, oh, wait a minute. Damn, we can't do that because he is, mm, yeah, I thought that was too good to be true. Because we can't have two specialists out at the same time. So the decoy can only decoy for, uh, um, can buy him later. Or do we, now yeah, we'll, we'll buy him now so that way he's ready to go when we need him. So that is going to cost us four. So we're back down to, oh my gosh, we're still down to four stars. Oh, you know what we forgot the whole time when we were over here? We forgot to add uh, metals. So we should have had three more metals. So six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine metals. Now, this time we get a star. So every time we're here, we're, we should get a star. So we should have two more stars. All right, so that was back-to-back -back awesome rolls. Thank you very much. Here we go. Oh, combat. We lose four minus one because of the medic, so we lose three guys. So we're down to 12. Come on, baby. Do something good for me again. Oh. Well, again, we have the white skull over here. Oh, you know what? We forgot to buy. Hang on a minute. Before we get... We, uh, we won't go back. That's fine. So we got the white skull over here, which we... If we don't roll it, we can keep. Ah, we really need to get some guys, though. Hmm. More guys is more better. Really nice. Get a bunch of guys would be kind of cool. Um, we need to, uh, you know what? Yeah, we better keep the guy. All right. Let's, let's keep guys. Let's roll that again. It's kind of on the edge. Uh, that is interesting because that almost puts us at a straight again. One, two, three, four, five. We need, what do we need? A single. 
We do have a single. We can get a straight again. Let's do it. So we're going to exchange this one for this one. And we're going to have us a straight again, which means we get an award of our choice. Oh, this game is too easy. Hmm. Uh, we might get the military cross because that would give us 10 guys. 14 guys. Oh, you just gain a battle cry? <laughs> Uh, we can get a Dead Man's Gift, which would give us 17 items and two stars. We could... Each unit may rally one unavailable regular or reserve. We don't have anybody that's been... You could spend one extra turn in each sector if you wanted. Find a vehicle at random. There's that one that I was talking about earlier. Gain three stars and three medals. Can move twice during phase five. That could be interesting because seriously, we could move from here to there to there. Or into here and into here. We could silence it, but we still need guys. I'm a little, hmm. A little hesitant to do that yet we should have more guys Could find an extra turn in their sector Find a vehicle at random. You know what? We're just going to take the military cross. Take the military cross and gain 10 guys. Units alone gain 4. Or units not alone gain 4. So we'll gain 10 guys with the military cross. That's fine. We need to start building up our guys. So we're up to 22. So that was our medal. I'm going to shuffle these up again. Metal. All right. That was just the bonus. Now we gain. We have uh, three guys. It's up to 25. We have. Because of this guy, we have. Two tools, which is three item points. So we're up to 40. 40 item points. That was the tool. Where's the tool here? Star. We gained one star, two stars. So we're back up to nine stars already. We have one courage, so we're up to 10. Skull, we can... Hmm. Nope. Can't do anything about... I mean, the skull we just ignore in any ways because of the straight. All right, so we got 40 tools, 9 stars, 10 courage. We have enough courage to pretty much 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Almost have enough. To get, we don't have to worry about it, that getting you know, all the way up to the bunker. Okay, um, so let's buy some things this time. So we can buy.
Field radio is five guys. Field radio is five guys. All right, so we spend 12. So we're down to 28. Now we can start getting some of these things back. We can't get these things back, but we can get some of these guys back. Um, we have the Grenader, which if we move up here, you can sign it, silence that machine gun. Uh, so... We're going to take the crack shot if you have at least one active skull in your final tally. So that would have been, we can gain two guys. And sharpshooter, we can ignore. Nope, that would not work with the crack shot, I don't think. All right, prevent the loss of up to six guys. Um... Change the color one of your final tallies uh, that's why I like playing with all the expansions because there's so many more choices we can't buy this yet but damn Uh, I guess we'll use the corporal reroll one die in your final tally. But you can't reroll a locked die. All right, so if we're trying to get a straight, it gives us an extra shot at it. So that's going to cost us two. So we're back down to seven. We got a million of them. All right, now we lose three guys instead of four because of the medic. So down to 22. Uh, we bought a guy. We bought an item. We could buy an award, which it costs us six. We have 10. But I like to have a little buffer there. So we don't really need another award right away. Do we shuffle these? Let's just make sure. Let's just make sure. All right. So that's... All right, so um, so it looks like we got last last turn in this sector coming up. What? Uh, let me see what this little what is this this little check mark next to this? Oh, that means right, right, right. We need. We need that guy to be able to move into that sector. What is he? Do we have him? Oh, yeah. We got the corporal right here. See, the corporal, you have to have him to move into this sector. So we ended up, well, yeah, we bought the right guy because that was the guy we just bought. <laughs> ah, that was lucky. All right, baby, let's do this. Oh boy, there's some guys. That's what I'm talking about. We need guys. We need guys. We need guys. Well, shoot. We can't get... Uh, can we get... No, because we have no guys over here anymore. So if we keep the two... We need the red-white-blue combos. So... We'll go ahead and lock those two. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of skulls. Hmm. We can actually trade out the white dice over here to get the red, white, blue combo again. Dead Man's Gift. Hmm. Let's 
see what we end up with. Don't forget, we can re-roll one die in the final tally, so. All right, so that's good. We got a red, white, and blue. We got this, we got this, and we got this, but because they're corporal, I'm gonna re-roll this skull. Might as well, he's not gonna do us any good. All right, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we can't get trade out anything to get another red, white, and blue combo, but we will definitely take this. So, uh, that is going to give us eight soldiers. Where's our thing? So we're back, we're up to 30. That's nice. 30 soldiers. All right, then we gain, we didn't roll any tools. Uh, we get a guy because of the red, white, and blue combo because of the veterans. So we're up to 31. Then, so then we gain one, two, three, four more guys. So we're up to 35. So that's those guys. And then a star and a courage. So we're up to eight stars and 11 courage. Oh, and one duel because of the scout. So we're actually, oops, up to 29. We have 35 guys. Eight stars, 11 courage, 29 tools. All right, so that's all our rewards. Adjust the unit marker, so we're going to have to leave. Uh, and then we can buy guys. Let's. Let's do it. You know what, we could move there. It's six guys every turn. Here we'd only get to roll five dice. We could use the grenader to silence this machine gun. You know what, I'm ch I want to check one thing in the rule book on, I'm wondering if you can only have these specialists that I was telling you about, you can only have one of them, but I'm wondering if you can only have one of each one of these, because it sometimes it looks like you should be able to, but let me see what it says. Let's see what it says. A unit can only have one reserve specialist at a time. If the reserve specialist is killed or sacrificed, then the unit may rally a different specialist. Okay, well, I was right. It's only one. It's only one. It's only one. So. I forget to recycle. Uh-huh. Hmm. I don't like only rolling five dice up here, but maybe we should make a big break towards the final thing. We're almost powerful enough to do that. So yeah, we are going to purchase this for two stars, so we're down to six. And we can sacrifice him to prevent the loss of six guys. Uh, we have plenty of, we are gonna spend 20. Uh, 
We're going to get their grenade. It's going to cost us 10. Uh, but we can prevent machine gun fire one turn in our sector. Ah, uh, so the question is, do we just 6, 10, 20, 40? God, that's a lot. We only have 35 guys. We would prevent the loss of a bunch of them. You know what? We are going to go. We're going to go up there. We're going to go to number one again. You know what? I mean, we could go here, have the grenader, get rid of this guy. We could spend some turns here just powering up ourselves, but... Whatever. We're going to move up there. Then we're going to lose six guys. But no, we're not. We're going to have the paratrooper prevent the loss of six guys. So we're not taking the loss of any guys. Screw you. Here we go. We're going to put the pressure. We're going to make a, we're going to make a run for the bunker, I think. So lots of guys. Oh, as we move up, we have to lose two courage. We're down to a whole nine courage. Wow, that's some tools right there. That's an RBG. And we have two. Hmm. 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 Guys would be nice. Guys would be nice. Guys would be nice. Do I keep these two and hope I roll? Yeah. Um, what does this give us? Battle cry, gain two stars. Or if we move this turn, all requirements in the new sector. Uh, I'm spend courage. Landmines still apply. Combat occurs normally. Hmm. Um, you know what we need, guys? I'm going to reroll all three of these. All right. We want the guys, I guess. Let's see what comes up. Keep the guys and all right. So that is our final roll. But because we have the corporal, we can reroll one die, which will reroll the skull. That's better. All right. So we got the tool bonus. You can find a used item. Guess what? Um, I think. We're going to find the field radio, which is going to give us five guys. Okay. Uh, or actually, we can just gain four soldiers. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just gain the four soldiers from this bonus. So four soldiers takes us up to 39. Then we get th one, two, three, four, which is 12 tools. That's going to take us to 41 tools. Then we are going to gain a soldier for our red, white, blue combos. We're up to 40 soldiers. Then we gain four soldiers there. So we're up to 24. And we gain a star. So we're up to seven. Let's purchase some guys. Uh, 
Uh, we'll keep the um, hmm. All right, we'll get the captain. We can change the color of a die, not the. So, like, we could make, you know, this a blue one if we needed to or something. So, it costs us four. Actually, we're down to three now. So, that guy's kind of expensive. All right. So, we would lose five guys. Uh, oh, actually, we gotta switch this over. Now, do we want to move up there? Can't. Mm. That's gonna be. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll lose the five guys. We'll stay here. All right. So back down to 39. All right. Uh, we bought guys. We need to buy. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to move. We're going to move. Yep. All right. So we're still going to buy something, though. We're going to buy the flamethrower for 20. So we're down to 21 tools. But we are going to move up here. We're going to uh, get rid of the Grenader, who's going to sacrifice to permanently silence the machine gun in your sector. So this machine gun is not going to do anything. And then we're going to spend the Bangalore torpedoes, reduce the defense of your sector, not a bunker. To zero. So zero and no machine guns. So we can basically spend three turns here getting ready, then make one turn here, one turn there, and we're going to be done. All right. So we only get, uh, what do we get? Five dice. Huh? So we'll get rid of the white one because we got an extra white one over here. We only get five dice, so it's kind of a bummer. We have no machine guns. We didn't take any damage. Now, we're looking for a lot of guys so we can... we got three turns to basically get a bunch of guys ready for our final push. We roll one with guys. Are you kidding me? That's one. Um, oh, when we moved up, we lost two courage, so we're down to seven. We'll keep the courage to. There we go. Are you happy? That's our. Keep this. And that'll be that. And then because we have the corporal, we can reroll one die in our final tally, which will be that one. Okay. And look at that. We got a red, white, blue combo. That's cool. All right. So, red, white, blue combo. Guys, we get five soldiers for that. So, we're up to 44. 
44. Then, because we have a red, white, and blue, and we have the veteran, we gain one up to 45. We also have two, four, six guys, so up to 51. Then we have two, courage, up to nine. Oh, this is going to be easy, I think. I think we're going to have this no problem, to be honest. So we don't have... Uh, we got to buy, if we want to buy. Might as well buy something here. Every time we advance, we'll gain three. Three guys every time we advance. So that is going to cost us... Th th oh, you know what? We could use stars because we actually have zero now. That's all right. So that was one. We're going to go to two. Again, no machine gun. No sector. Oh, wait. We can buy tools. We have... 21 tools still. We will spend 15 on the bazooka. So we're down to six tools. So tools, getting tools would be a good thing. Six tools, 51 guys, no stars, nine courage. Second turn in this zone. There's some guys. Nice. We're going to keep all those. Um, sure. Reroll. One more time. All right. We'll keep it, I guess. Um, yep. We don't have any red, white, blue combos this time, unfortunately. That's okay. We have two, four, five, six guys. That's going to take us to 57. We have a store back up to one. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, go up to three. Again, no machine gun and our sector's been blown to hell, so it's... Right now we're just trying to gain a bunch of guys as we're going to make the final push here in just a second. Mm, no. All right. And then because we have the dude, we can reroll one die. All right. Well, nothing great. Three guys takes us up to an even 60 guys. We got a star up to two, courage up to 10. We got two tools, which gives us three points. So we're up to nine tools. And we're going to have to move. That's fine. Uh, before we move, though, we can purchase. We don't have a star. Where is the star man? Um, looking for this star symbol. Hmm. Do we already use him? No. Sure why we don't have... A 
The star symbol. Huh. Is there something about that? Hmm. He would die if we moved in there, but I don't see him anywhere. Sure, uh, maybe he's not a solo. It's a star. Yeah, I don't know where the star guy is. All right, well, we're moving up. Set it back to one. Uh, we will take nine guys damaged. Takes us down to 51. We got all of our dice back, though. Uh, we also... trying to remember how the machine gun works but let's see uh, maybe it's in this one here let's see um, Oh, requirement, lose any specialists. We have to move, lose a guy to move in there. Okay. Um, oh, plus we gained three when we moved up. So back up to 54. Uh, and then we'll lose the beach master because we're going to be moving one more time. No, you know what? We'll lose the... We'll lose the captain. That's fine. Oh, no, wait. We'll keep the captain. What am I doing? We'll lose the minesweeper. Lose the mine sweeper. Because we're not going to go through any more mines. All right, now how the hell do you do the machine gun again? We roll a regular d6. Okay. Roll a regular d6 to see how many machine. Oh, only one. Uh, but because we have the medic, the medic says lose one less dude per phase. Oh, I guess this would see. Yeah, so we'll lose the one. So back down to 53 guys left. That's okay. We're moving after this turn. We're moving in the bunker, boys. Oh, plus we get a D6 of guys. We move in there. Oh, we gain one back. 54. All right. So we got a red, white, and blue combo. Red, white, blue courage which is going to get us two stars sure keep these for guys star sure i guess we'll go keep that that's fine it's not gonna matter not gonna matter so battle cry gets us uh two stars so we're up to four stars then we gain three courage, so we're up to 13 courage. Another star, so we're up to five stars. And three guys gets us to 57. One tool gets us to 10. Uh, then we gain a guy because of the veteran, and we got an RBW, so that's 58. 
Um, and we can buy guys. Which will be... We'll spend seven to buy the whistle. So we're down to three tools. Three tools. With the whistle, we can advance once without spending courage. All right. Well, guess what? We're going to be advancing right here, right now. So we move this, move in there, uh, and we'll spend the whistle so we don't need to spend the courage. It's going to be 20. Five guys die assaulting the bunker. 10, 20, 5. 58 v 33 guys left and we win the scenario dun 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 so that's how the game plays again this is a pretty easy map board there's not too many bad things on here um but 33 guys so we have three tools oh you know what hang on a minute We're going to subtract 10 from its defense, and we're going to subtract 7. So add 17 guys back onto that. So that would be 40. That'd be an even 50 guys. 50 guys made it through. 50 guys made it through with us. Subtract 7 from the defense, and subtract 10 from the defense of a bunker. So we threw some flamethrowers in there and bazooka. We blew the hell out of that bunker. So we had five guys. Oh, I'm sorry. When we advanced, we got another three. So we're up to 53 guys. <laughs> ah. Wow, that was it. There you go. That is D-Day Dice. Awesome. Again, I really like playing with all the expansions and stuff because, you know, you're kind of a, not really limited, but you're kind of limited on how many how many different things you can do with your guys. You don't have a, I mean, you know, there's only a, a handful of cards here. Still gives you some options, just not a ton of options. Um... And, of course, you know, don't have a lot of different guys. Really, we only have, what, three? No, we had more than three, didn't we? Yeah, we had more than three. We only had nine items. Um, let's see. That, that. These go there. These go here. We've ended up getting a lot of guys. The scout, the corporal, veteran, paratrooper, a sharpshooter, the medic, and the beach master. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just eight regulars. And you saw all the cards that we went through earlier with all the different options with all the expansions. Gives you just a lot more replayability, lots of more options as you're playing through the game. You got more medals. You know, we didn't even look at, uh, you know, this whole stack of servicemen, right? To gain different dice to add to things. So, anyways, that's a look at D Day Dice. Hopefully, this will help you learn how to play and uh, give you an example of what you can do with it and uh, let you see how um, things are done. So we made it in successfully, no problems. We've taken over the bunker. The bunker is ours. We had the military cross, Legion DRA, and the military medal. These were our medals.
Put these in there. Put these in here. Put these in here. And we could uh, go again. So that's a, a look at it. Again, um, you know, here's Omaha Beach. Going to be a little bit more tougher here. So you start with three. Going right into sixes here. You're going to need some guys to move into these different sectors here. You're going to lose guys. Eight. And 10, 15, and 20. So a little bit tougher. Not too bad. Here is you can't get any earn any tools. And of course, your little counter sheet. And of course, play with lots of different countries or your different affiliations. Cool stuff. T Day Dice. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Everyone, have a great evening. Have any questions, thoughts, comments, suggestions, let me know down below. And uh, hopefully, if you are interested in this game, let me know. And let me know if you get it and try it out and what you think of it. You can see all of the... We can play as Canada, France, Great Britain, Poland. Not sure who that is. Plus all of the different divisions. So. Put all this stuff. Way in the box. Fits in there pretty decently. Got all these dice I need to put away. And these little counters. All right, everyone have a good night. We'll talk to everybody next time. Thanks for watching, guys.